Hi friends, uh, this is Vithal. I am .NET developer. I am Microsoft MEP, Shishar Karma MEP, as well as Microsoft Community Contributor. Also, speaker in user group, author and blogger. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to connect Azure SQL database using SSMS. In my last video tutorial, we have learned how to create cloud database that is Azure SQL database step by step. If you uh, not watched that video, then please go to the YouTube or uh, my blog that is compilemore.com or on ccharpan.com to watch my last video which will explain step by step how to create Azure SQL database. So in this video tutorial, we will learn how to connect that Azure SQL database which we have created. So the agenda of this video is what is SQL Server Management Studio, configuring firewall in Azure portal, restrict and allow client machines to access the database, map client IP address, and why need to map client IP address. Client IP address means the person or user who accessing the database from SSMS that is SQL Server Management Studio. So this all about the agenda of this video. So first, uh, let us learn first point. What is SQL Server Management Studio? Uh, if you are a beginner or a student, so that's why I'm explaining what is SQL Server Management Studio. SQL Server Management Studio is nothing but the one of the tool provided by Microsoft to connect with the SQL Server database. So how the SQL Server Management Studio looks? Let's see, I will tab here. This is a SQL Server Management Studio. See here, it's right at Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. Rightly, I am connected with the SQL Server using Vital uh, Server name. So, this is a SQL Server Management Studio, and using this SQL Server Management Studio, we are going to connect with the Azure SQL database that is cloud database. So where is the database which we have created last time? So let's flip to my uh, Azure, uh, Azure portal, Microsoft Azure portal. This is my Azure uh, Microsoft Azure portal. So we, uh, I hope uh, I was told you last last time uh, to subscribe uh, uh, 30 days free trial. And that we will get everything access of these uh, resources. I hope most of them uh, I was did. Now, so where is the database we have created? There are lots of options here in a uh, uh, left hand side. So, see the option is SQL database. Click on this. Now, uh, this is summary of our database. That is, uh, database name is uh, student DB. Uh, the current status online uh, uh, replication role none server name is student db server pricing tire uh, i was explained uh, what are the pricing tire and what are they uh, and now location is our uh, current database center is canada central okay and is my subscription this is general so this is all about the database where is hosted in a canada central and what is the server name that is student db server and current status online so uh, click on the uh, this hyperlink that is in sql db now it will show the more details so which is group that we have created last time that is database group this is my server name uh, students db server dot database dot windows dot net so what is this and uh, we will learn we can uh, this option connection string we can uh, see the number of connection strings uh, to how to connect with the different databases like i'll show you this is for edu.net edu.net is uh, nothing but the database connectivity provider so odbc this is a php and this is a jdbc there are different type of connection string by default defined here so this is a server name so and we are last time created now where is the server name you need to put let us i will disconnect this database my local database 
to avoid any confusion now i will again try to connect so which is which is my uh, server name is current my server name is vital now what is our azure sql database uh, server name that is vital that is uh, student db server dot database dot windows dot net you can copy directly from here by clicking here now these are the different uh, types of uh, settings here so we need to go, go there let's copy the server name and uh, paste is here so i was already logged using the database so this is one student database so what is this vital admin means nothing but the our login username which is we have created that is this is server admin means database admin or something database user or normal developer that is uh, in your language this is a sql developer or other developers or students uh, so this, this was done the uh, second part is the password last time uh, you was remembered i have not pay, uh, spell out my password because of the security reason now same i will not spell out my password but i will type here that is that is that is done with my password now i am expecting it will throw the error so why it will you throw error so we will learn so first i will try to connect and after generating the error we will learn why the error is thrown so let's do to some time it's my old sql server 2012 uh, management studio uh, please go and install latest uh, sql server management studio that is uh, 2016 or 2014 so let's wait it will throw the error and why it is throwing error we will find out and explain in details so let's wait yeah right so it's showing a network related or instance specific error occur while establishing the connection to the sql server the server was not found or not accessible verify that instance name is correct and that is sql server is configured to allow remote connection number of is that it is showing the a normal error as uh, many times uh, showing so why this uh, this error is coming we are this our server name is proper uh, our uh, login name is proper uh, password is also proper so what is the issue the issue uh, there is no issue this is not a issue this is a security reason that is our uh, azure portal managing so now we are covering this point configuring firewall the stick allow client machine to access database map client ip address and why we need to add client ip address obviously it is for the security reason so let's see let's see the my ip address is uh, currently the uh, dynamic not a static uh, big, uh, so it's changing every time when i reset the my wi-fi connection or anything so don't rely on that my particular uh, ip address so where to configure that firewall setting this option is here to configure firewall setting that is under setting so i will go or this is a firewall directly you can go here that is uh, after clicking on database this detail is came so this is show firewall setting click on here so it will show the, all the firewall setting let's see uh, currently this is my uh, last time uh, added client ip address so again i will add this client ip address that is 1278 so every time uh, if you want to allow any client to connect this uh, azure sql database then we need to map the client ip address so this is by default uh, on allow access to azure services so keep it is for uh, uh, it's for better to keep as on now the previous map we can delete this one if uh, previously map uh, uh, IP addresses of the client so those those IP addresses machines cannot be accessed this database so now this is my client IP address it is taken by default okay 
that is 1.8.6.7.78.6 so this is a dynamic uh, IP address I don't care about this if you uh, trying to access it so this click on add this is client IP address is mapped now click on this save button okay only one operation on firewall setting can be added as per save action okay so what action we have taken we don't know but we have added this save button okay this is uh, something don't worry as we are facing many issues like developer so don't worry about this again we will click on show firewall setting wait I am discarded okay no issue so so I will click on this one again so let's it's added uh, already here but I will add again this one now click on save button okay this updating firewall rules yeah okay firewall rules is updated it will show the notification here successful updated server firewall is successful updated firewall server sql student db server now we have configured the we have configured the ip addresses or ip address of the client so go here and try to connect again so what error it will throw or it will allow to connect just watch So it's it took some time to connect. If take it's a really longer time, then uh, is something went wrong from our side. So let's wait. This is due uh, due to the uh, network is slow from my PC. So let's wait. It's again throwing error. Don't worry. So I will check again cost check wow, what is the error tell admin everything is proper so what will the issue so again we will go to the portal so type something and save changed again last time so wait yeah again we have added this one if something went wrong to go here let's type my password properly something uh, now wait wait for a few seconds now connected so so let's wait yeah so we are connected with the Azure SQL database that is this is student DB server it is our server name now it is similar to our local SQL server database it is showing the all the data that is expand this database this is a student DB which is we have created last time what type of uh, database we created that is a blank database so this is a no tables here so let's see if anything tables or by default system tables yeah it's only a system tables no user defined tables here this is a views this is uh, this is created for view uh, this is used to create view this is used for create tables uh, this is used to create a uh, store procedure and by default the cre every created store procedure is get stored here so functions this database trigger this is a type this is security now users you can manage users from here from whom to give the access roles is here database roles is here so everything we can manage from here so uh, I hope uh, this video is useful uh, to connect Azure SQL database from SQL Server Studio management and <coughs> and and if you learn how to connect to the SQL Azure database. Uh, you can contact me on my email ID 
uh, you can connect with my uh, on my personal blog that is compilemore.com also uh, you can read my blogs on c-sharp corner also you can connect with my uh, twitter account as a facebook as well as linkedin in my next uh, video tutorial we will learn how to create tables in azure sql database so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and blogs if you like this video thanks a lot